Hi guys, this is Jonathan, a Disney and Halloween fan here again, and today I'm going to do my top 10 most anticipated movies of this year in the year of 2021. Now, these are my picks of movies I'm really looking forward to, movies I'm really excited for, and I think that they're going to be, they're going to be, uh, great. I know 2020 had been a really difficult year, but hopefully this one, 2021, will be a much better year. Hopefully I'll get to see these movies by then. So yeah, these are the movies I'm looking forward to this year. And if you're not looking forward to any of these movies that I put in there, I I am fine with your opinion. I I, I can tolerate your opinion on, on, on these movies that you're not looking forward to. Remember, this is just an opinion and these are my thoughts, okay? And we all have different tastes. So without further ado, let's get this started. Number 10, I choose... The West Side Story Remake. Now this one, it was supposed to come out last month, but unfortunately... Sorry guys. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, it happened post... And to the due to the coronavirus, it had been postponed to December 2021. But I'm still looking forward to it. I, cause I love musical films. I really, my personal favorite musical movie of all time is Moulin Rouge with Nicole Kidman and Ewan McGregor. And I got a feeling that this seek this. Remake is going to be just as beautiful as the original one was. It even has Rita Moreno returning for the cast. So that's exciting to hear. And I can't wait to see what they're going to do. What Steven Spielberg's going to do with the the West Side Story remake. I, I got a feeling that this will be a wonderful musical. Yeah, this is going to be... A, this one will be possibly a, a good musical to go see next holiday season. Comes out December 10th of 2021. So yeah. I I can't wait to see the mus this remake of this fantastic musical. I know Steven Spielberg and everybody will do so well. The music is going to be just beautiful. And I got a feeling that this is going to be a great musical to go see. So yeah. Number 10, I choose West Side Story. Number 9, I choose... Elvis. I'm looking forward to this one because this is most likely the story of how Elvis... This biopic story of Elvis Presley of how he became like... This famous singer and, and Austin Butler, who is the actor who's playing Elvis, I think he's a perfect choice to play him. And I got a feeling that he'll he'll do a wonderful job as Elvis. And Tom Hanks is gonna be in it. That's cool. I like I like Tom Hanks. He appeared in in Toy the Toy Story franchise, and a beautiful day in in the neighborhood. So I got a feeling that he's gonna do awesome in this one. Elvis, yeah, I, I got a feeling that Elvis is gonna be a really good biopic film. Can't wait to see Elvis in November. I know everybody's every everybody who's who's part of the cast for this film is going to be absolutely fantastic. So yeah. Comes out in November of 2021. And I can't wait to see this. This Elvis biopic film is going to be just fun to go see. I can't wait. It's it's most likely the biopic story of Elvis Presley's life and how he became like this famous singer and all that stuff. So yeah, can't wait to see Elvis. 
It's going to be a really fun film. Number eight, I choose Coming to America. I'm really looking forward... I'm really looking forward to this one because I love the first Coming to America film. The first one was absolutely hilarious. And Eddie Murphy is a great comedian. He's a great actor. He played so many films like Beverly Hills Cops, The Nutty Professor. He even did the voice of Mushu in Mulan. And he did the voice of Donkey in the Shrek franchise. So I got a feeling that this will be Eddie Murphy's comeback. This mostly will take place almost 33 years ago because this movie took place because this movie came out in 1988. It was supposed to come out last month, but due to the coronavirus, it had been postponed to March 5th in Amazon to Amazon Prime, but but that's okay. I was, I'm looking forward to. I'm still looking forward to, it and I put this there just for the heck of it. Cause, why not? <laughs> Eddie Murphy is gonna. And this, I got a feeling that this will be Eddie Murphy's comeback. This most. This one will most likely take place, thirty almost forty three years ago. Sorry, guys. And Eddie Murphy has to go find, and Prince Akeem has to go find his long lost son he never knew he had. That's a really interesting plot. So I can't wait what they're gonna what they're gonna do with this sequel. Maybe this will be just as good as the first one. So yeah, I'm really looking really looking forward to coming to America. Everybody has been is who, everybody, who have been. Who was in the original is back except for one person, but that's okay. Coming to America, the sequel. Hopefully, this will be Eddie Murphy's major comeback. So yeah, I gotta. I hope this will be a great film. So yeah, number eight, I choose Coming to America. Number seven, I choose... Everybody's talking about Jamie. Yes, I know this movie has been postponed, but hopefully it gets a new release date. And I, I also put that in there just for the heck of it, because once again, this is a musical. This will most likely take place about a boy who wants to be a drag queen. That's a pretty... That's a really fun... Fun... Plot for a musical. It's got a it's got great songs and it's based on a Broadway musical everybody's talking about Jamie, which that's really cool. Hopefully it gets a new release date soon. Hopefully it gets either like a summer or a fall release date. Who knows when this movie will have a new release date. I'll keep if I find out what new release data has, I'll keep you in, in. I'll, I'll let you know or some. I'm not sure, but hopefully it gets a new release date. It was supposed to come out last month, next month I meant, but it had been postponed due to the coronavirus once again. Yeah, I hope it gets a new release date for this year soon. I really hope it does. I got a feeling that the characters are going to be great. I got a feeling that everybody is going to do swell. So yeah. And I got a feeling that the music will be so incredible. Already the music. I saw the trailer and it looks so incredible. i never seen uh, 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 the musical trailer musical movie trailer so incredible as this one so yeah hopefully it gets a new release date soon who knows maybe it'll be maybe it'll become my second new favorite musical movie of all time who knows that'll be just it'll be just as fun it'll be meaning that everybody's talking about Jamie will be number two while Moulin Rouge will be number one for my favorite musicals of all time while Greece will be number three. So yeah. 
everybody's talking about Jamie. I'm really excited for it. I got a feeling that the music, the characters, the plot, everything will be so fantastic. So yeah, everybody's talking about Jamie. Definitely looking forward to. Number six, I choose Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. I'm looking forward to this one because it comes out on July 9th of t this year. Six and funny it comes out six days after after my birthday because my birthday's on July 3rd and I'll be 25 by then when it comes out. This movie I could tell it's going to be action packed and awesome. Aquafina's going to be in it. That's really awesome. Everybody who's casting in this one, I could tell they they'll be great in their roles. See, and this is also my most anticipated Marvel movie of this year. I also have another upcoming another Marvel movie that I'm looking forward to this year, and that's the untitled Spider-Man film coming out in December. But sadly, I didn't put that in there, but it's on my honorable mentions, though. So, so I decided this had to go on my most anticipated movies list. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings had always been my most anticipated Marvel movie at this seat of 2021. And it still is. I mean, you can't go wrong with this film. I mean, this movie's gonna be just so awesome. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to this movie when it comes out. Hopefully we get the official trailer so I can do a trailer reaction video to it. So yeah, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings is on number 6, and that's why it's on number 6. 